Chapter 5, Investigations Inside and Out Down in the street, Jerry would see Vivian Lander showing jewelry to the elderly gentleman. The tray lined with red velvet held glittering necklaces and sparkling rings. She looks pretty happy, thought Jerry. I wonder why. The elderly man looked at the jewelry, but he seemed more interested in the assistant. Jerry could see Maya cleaning the other side of the store. He was sure she was trying to hear what Vivian and the customer were saying. When the elderly gentleman turned to leave, Vivian stopped him with a kiss on the nose. What service? Does she do that to all the customers, wondering Jerry? Inside the store, Maya took her window cleaning supplies and headed up to the second floor. She knocked on the and then opened the door to Danny Braveheart's office. I'm gonna clean the windows in here, she said politely. Danny Braveheart quickly shut something away in his desk drawer and something he obviously didn't want Maya to see. Maya tried to peer across the room to see what it might be, but Danny stopped her with a hiss. Don't you have something else to do besides snoop on me? Go ahead and start cleaning the windows if you must. What a nasty guy, thought Maya. He's Definitely hiding something. From his perch in the church tower, Jerry could see everything. Maya had moved to the window. She cautiously waved to him, and he waved back. But then Jerry saw something else, something that scared him. Danny Braveheart had opened his desk drawer and then taken out a large knife. He tested the blade against his thumb and nodded abruptly. Abru Approvingly, Appro approvingly, sorry. Maya is trapped in a room with a madman, well, and with a mama welding a knife. I can't do anything about it, Jerry thought des desperately. He waved frantically at Maya and gestured for her to turn around, but Maya just waved happily back. R-I-I-I-P, rip. Maya spun around at the sudden noise and saw Danny Braveheart opening letters with a long, sharp knife. It was a letter opener. I finished the windows in here, said Maya nervously. Danny Braveheart didn't answer. When Maya left the room, she heard him opening the desk drawer again. I guess he's taken out whatever he hid before, thought Maya. Jerry lowered his binoculars and breathed a huge sigh of relief. No one said detective work was easy, he thought. Then he heard someone stumping up the stairs to the church tower. It was the caretaker, again. Have you seen a jacuzzi stork yet? He asked curiously. Not yet, answered Jerry, but an orientologist needs a lot of patience. Jacuzzi storks are tough to spot this early in the year. If the newspaper decides to write anything about the bird, you can tell them that I was the one who opened the church tower for you, asked the caretaker. Could you? Of course, said Jerry. My name is Ronald Sussman, Sussman with three S's, said the caretaker. But Jerry hadn't heard him because he was already busy looking through his binoculars again. 